Nestle, good food, good life. Say hello to the best summer ever. Speed slides, two brides, and the all new Aqua Rocket Hydro Magnetic Coaster. First on the West Coast, only at Raging Waters. Save when you buy your tickets online. Visit ragingwaters.com. We're here in Long Beach at Rosie the Riveter Park with uh, Laura Herzog of Honoring Our Fallen. We see a little fundraising happening here this morning. Yes, we, uh, we brought out our Honoring Our Fallen t-shirts, lapel pins, patches, things that people could buy to um, wear to, again, to remember our fallen. And that, the other reason is because you're a nonprofit organization and you do a lot of things for families, and that requires money. Yes, we're a 100% volunteer organization that has dedicated ourselves to serving the families of those heroes that, that they've left behind, the mothers, the fathers, the children, um, the sisters, and the brothers. And we're not just here in the park to see what items you have. We're here in the park because of what's going on behind us. On this Memorial Day, you are building a brand new memorial. Yes, Rosie the Riveter Park will be the home of the Honoring Our Fallen uh, Memorial Wall, where we will list the names of over 6,800 fallen soldiers, airmen, and Marines that have paid the ultimate sacrifice since September 11, 2001. And what we see is uh, a portion of the ivy on that wall coming down. Yes, it brought tears to my eyes a little while ago when I heard that chainsaw going and I saw that first bit of ivy coming off that wall. And knowing what it'll look like, knowing that it'll be a place where we as a community, um, schools, families, community members, we can all come out. We can look at those names and we can know that the reason that we're free to be here today and to do what we do every day is because of these men and women who so selflessly serve. And those names represent... Faces. These are two of the faces of the names that will appear on the wall. Uh, one image we have for you is of uh, Sergeant U.S. Army Sergeant Thomas McPherson, and the other U.S. Army Sergeant First Blue Sergeant Blue Row, and both of their names will appear there. Yes, yes. And tomorrow marks the sixth year angel anniversary for Blue Row paying the ultimate sacrifice. Their relatives are here and are part of this. Uh, we're going to talk with them in our three o'clock special. Uh, I'm learning this means a lot to them, not just the ceremony, but how you look after them after the ceremonies are over. Uh, they're family to me. They're part of my family. They, didn't, they don't want to be a part of my family. It's not anything that they wanted to sign up to be, but they are my family, and I will, be, I will move a mountain for them. If others can uh, and are interested in supporting, we're going to put some information on the screen. This is uh, the website for your organization. You always need volunteers. You always need donations. Yes, yes. We're a 100% volunteer organization, and we can't do it alone. So we look for members of our community to come out to get involved, to help us, so that these families know, again, that um, we can be that army in the community. We can be that, um, that unit that um, we can't do it alone, and um, we can let them know that their sacrifice isn't forgotten. Again, honoring our fallen with uh, a brand-new memorial here. In Long Beach, we'll talk with relatives of those who have been lost and why this is important to them. More KTLA Morning News after this. Good to talk. Mm, Gail, <laughs> so wonderful what they're doing this Memorial Day. And speaking of Memorial Day, we know you might be getting ready for your big barbecue later this afternoon. We want to help you kick it up to the next level. We got some guys here who are making food that is out of this world. <laughs> from Horse Thief Barbecue at the Grand Central Market, one yes. of my favorite places.